There's not a gas station I pull up to, not a dock I pull up to where someone doesn't make a comment about that big bow. And that big bow has saved me many a time, saved me a beating and being wet. So the Key West 244 has a 20, very, very, very steep entry, 24 degrees, all the way back to about somewhere just behind the seat it steps to 21 degrees which is great so you get the best of both worlds the dead rise helps you in a C the less dead rise being the 21 at the back keeps it a little more stable when you're bottom fishing or whatever it doesn't roll as much because of the deep V here's a big wide camera view of the front well, that's a big old nose up there and you'll see when I get down this, this has been a great boat for me she's a 2016 I think I mentioned that before but it's got the fold down seat in the front I apologize I just took the cover off there for the first time in since I've owned the boat in 2016 so I got a little work to do on that all right let's start at the front well there's my Rodan it's a 96 I highly recommend if you're getting a 244 to get the 96 because Frankly, when you're out there in rough water and if you had an 87 or, or less and you had the head, you almost got to bury the head because the bow is so high and big in this boat. And if you had anything shorter, you'd really be bending over there in a tough sea. I prefer to have the head up where I can grab it. Plus, I'm old, so I don't like bending over that much. I got some lashes here, these blue cords. That's where I put in a 150 quart cooler and lash it in up here anchor locker plenty of everything you need there's my rodan plug right there i don't know i probably have 300 feet of anchor rope in there i don't know maybe more there's a whole spool of three eighths and then there's a bunch of half inch so there you go i got the bolsters on the sides they're good for people i have cushions that go onto these compartments I keep a spare rope, spare anchor. I keep a buoy in there, just a tender buoy. And then in there I have a sea anchor. So that's, that's the front of the boat. And here's a shot down the back. Um, windshield's nice. I don't know, some people like full windshields. I like the windshield it has on it. I have the aluminum T-top. I'll go into more why I have the aluminum T-top when I get back there i have the garmin 18 hd i believe single vhf i like the fabric top because the fabric top to me is replaceable and i'll go into more of why i chose the fab well the fabric top versus a hard top number one it doesn't leak on you when you're running down the road and if you got a hard top that don't leak then you're uh, one of the hundreds of people that have them but here's why I chose basically the aluminum for because it was uh, a little bit cheaper but not powder coated but when you have a hard top on your boat on a Key West those two outriggers right there are not on the boat and there I'm sorry those two rod holders are not on the boat and I can put a rod in there and I really don't need outriggers now if I wanted them top comes ready for them to be top comes ready for them to be put in let's got nice coverage all the way back let's look at the i run i run dual garmin that's uh, a 741 that's a 761 there that 761 is a slave to the 741 they use the same transducer and like i said i'm a simple guy i don't really like having big stuff that you got to know a million things to get around i have the standard yamaha circle gauges standard yamaha um cable type drive i got this brand new panel i just put in from my buddy tom marlow at key west key west has excellent excellent customer support another reason i bought the boat uh dual ignition switches this little panel down here controls the sonar and the rear bilge this boat has a rear bilge and a midship bilge the midship bilge is on this panel and the rear bilge is on this panel. Uh, take that back. The midship bilge is here. The rear bilge is on this panel. Standard Lenkos. I moved my Lenko switch up. It used to be where that 
Frankenstein looking thing uh, right there is that's what I put in for USB port but when the throttles were down you couldn't get to the trims to the tabs and I didn't like that so I moved it up there's a whole reason why the tabs are there on Key West and Tom Marlowe explained it to me one time and I don't know anyways I got storage down here for Junkola I keep a spotlight in there my rubber bands in there stuff for fish you got your two pockets here I keep my key fob inside that glove right there you keep it I do have the flip-flop center con um, flip-flop leaning post I don't know if that's standard or not I think the optional one comes with armrests plenty of room to fish um, if I had my druthers, I'm probably going to put in another rod holder right here because I just got into a bent bent butt, and when you slip a bent butt in there, you kind of need the other one. Uh, I have the rear seat. The rear seat flips up. My dog loves it, as you can tell. Her claw marks are all in it. I did order a brand new one from Key West, which I have in my shed, should I ever decide to sell it. Dual uh, live wells. I think they're 18 gallons a piece. I'm not a live bait guy, so I use this one for pinfish. When I'm out, I do have a pinfish trap that I put in. This one I use for trash. I keep my planers in here and various stuff. I have a pair of Yamaha 150s on mine. Plenty of power. Um, if I ever repowered, I might go to 175s or 200s, but I would never leave the four, the four cylinder. Only bad thing, so I built this table First I did it in PVC and this fishing table is really old since I bought the boat and I built it out of PVC first. It works great for rigging. Um, I mean it is just works like a champ. I put little holes in it to hold rigs, scallops for the rod holes. The only bad thing is that it does take the two outside rod, rod holders. I built this originally out of PVC, got it to where I liked it and then i took it to an aluminum took the pvc to an aluminum guy and he made me brackets my brother-in-law built this table for me many many years ago probably a good six or seven years ago and uh it's white oak and i'm probably about ready to build another one one day but yeah so that's that the rear seat single steering on the single steering cylinder no problem with the c star has always worked great i've ha have had to bleed it once or twice when it was new rod lockers these are true eight foot lot rod lockers that's an eight foot gaff in there you can put three in there i don't keep many rods down there i keep my makeshift outrigger that i use in the center sometimes on my shotgun rod and then i keep my brush up under there so that's pretty much the boat i mean there's plenty what i like about this boat is there's plenty of room to fish back here. I looked at a bunch of 24 foot boats, expensive 24 foot boats, and they all put in this massive um, thing right here for baits and everything, and it ends up you get no room. Now, when you get rods in these rod holders, it does get a little shoulder snug, but not too bad because I can put them up in the top. If you count rod holders on this boat, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 i believe uh 19 without if you don't have a table plenty of room for rods here's a look from the front to the back she's a beautiful boat a yeti 65 fits underneath the um uh, underneath the seat i someday will probably take that hutch step out of there and put a cooler slide in the hutch step is something that the owner of Key West really liked, and um, but they can come out in a cooler side. The boat comes comes standard with I think a 70 or an 80 quart uh, igloo in there. I, I took it out and bought the Yeti. Actually, my good friend Matt Isley bought me that when I bought the boat as a present. And uh, so that's the inside of the boat. And she's a fishing machine. I love this boat, and I've had it for six years with virtually no issues. Um, the trolling motor, let's talk about it. I love this Rodan. It is a game changer. But I'm going to highly recommend to you, if you don't know how to work on stuff, don't buy one. Or look for a service area near you. Here's a look at my battery setup for my trolling motors. Take you through this step by step, I guess. There's my trolling motors on the ground, down in the bottom where your porta potty might go. 
I still have room to get my 18 inch door open not all the way open but it was the best I could do next I'll show you the false floor here I have these two pieces of false floor I made there's one kind of hard to see there's number two I bought on the internet because I'm cheap two very large industrial cutting boards and used them there's what it looks like with the false floor in I did make a couple of little blocks and sit on top of the batteries just in case it's real nice I got a nice lip right there so the other one can sit on it I tucked this 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 uh, thing to put stuff in underneath there holds real well and uh, console still plenty of room in the console that suitcase holds a set of uh, spare blades props the old three blades that I had on before I put the four blades there's some containers of tools and more safety equipment and then the red bag of courage goes in there that's everything that I need for when I need to elevate from a standard first aid kit I use that that's what my e perbs in my spare radio all my necessary necessary stuff um, but it fits in there nicely still plenty of room as you can see in the pouches I keep my frog togs extra ponchos for people and my first line of defense um, first aid kit so it holds a lot still plenty of room I keep dual fire extinguishers I mounted up there still in the console folks on my boat the one of the first things I did was I put four blade props on it I had did a lot of reading about four blade props and the benefits of them and for me it works um, I don't run wide open I don't care to burn 35 gallons an hour but these props when I put the four blades on the whole shot is incredible and I can get on plane at a lower speed which helps me when I'm trolling for Wahoo if I want to do some fast trolling by the way I do have underwater lights it's one of the options along with the rear seat and uh, really the only options I got were the rear seat the underwater lights under gunnel LEDs and mm, I don't know what else but I'm sure there's something but there she is my Key West 244 this boat will handle a very good sea as long as you keep the nose in it a lot of times I'm running full tabs in the front with a little bit of motor Tim trim just trying to get that thing into it all right what's the downside of the 244 uh, not everybody not every boat is perfect and not every boat is made for you know for every person in North Carolina where I'm at we have to run north south in the morning to get out and north on the way home well most of the time in the summer you have a southerly breeze so if you have a southerly wave this boat will eat it'll, the waves are at your back this boat will eat a following sea like nobody's business now what's the downside well if you're in a headwind a pretty stiff headwind and a pretty stiff north well for me it's north coming home in the winter the winds out of the north I have to be very careful about how I run this boat not careful from a safety standpoint it's just the bow is so big and the flare is so big that it will keep you dry but it likes to catch air it acts like a big kite and that big wide deck up front if it gets leaned over and the wind hits it it's like an airplane it's like a wing it's going to keep that side down until you you know you work it so you got to really know how to run the boat in a head sea Pete and I just came back you'll see the video Pete and I just came back from uh fishing trip yesterday day before yesterday and it ended up it was a north wind i don't like to fish a north wind because you never know what it'll do especially here in north carolina and what happened was we got stuck about 25 miles out with it blowing 15 to 20 probably and it came on upon us the bad thing about that is i gotta run north so when it hit me there's no escaping it i have to run through it to get back to it so we ran 24 miles and I had full tabs quarter engine trim I made 26 miles an hour until it got to the point it was about four to six and I had to slow it down to about 21 22 miles an hour 
and we we made our way in now was it a fun ride no but man if i didn't have that nose and i was able to keep the nose down the weight from the trolling motor batteries the trolling motor uh, and the cooler up front really helped me maintain nose control when i'm in something like that and the boat ran great let's see what else about this baby i bought it in 2016 i've had i was a uh, bought it brand new i was the only owner or i am the only owner i will probably never sell it i'll probably repower it before i sell it i have 800 hours on it and it's just been a beautiful boat for me take you walk you down this side squeeze between my shower but there she is the swell time 24.4 inch 244 key west blue water i pull it with an f-150 5.4 liter four-wheel drive works great all right well listen i hope you enjoyed it i hope i help anybody who's looking at the boat uh, my email is on my youtube you're more than welcome to hit me up